Despite chants, prayers, and protests from families claiming it tramples their religious freedoms, the Assembly today approved a controversial bill to require all children obtain a full slate of vaccinations before they're allowed to attend public and private schools. The bill allows children who get a doctor's note to forego the shots for medical issues, but completely eliminates exemptions for religious reasons. It's expected to pass the Senate. I would never do anything to hurt people that have issues, but it's unfair to be characterizing this as that we're, we're doing something that's wrong. We're actually doing the right thing, which is protecting the, the health of the state. The vote tracked mostly along party lines. It comes after a spike in measles cases in New Jersey this year raised concerns among lawmakers that the recent upward trend in religious exemptions could raise risks of more outbreaks. Religious families in New Jersey opting out of vaccinating their kids has risen from 1.7 percent to 2.6 percent, or about 30,000 children. Those families claim the bill strips them of their freedom of choice. Ultimately, parents and people should be in charge of making those medical choices with consultation with their doctors. Government mandates for these types of interventions interfere with that relationship between the doctor and the patient to really make sound choices. This bill forces parents to vaccinate their children against their religious beliefs or they will have to take their children out of school. That is an unconscionable choice. The bill says vaccinations must follow a state protocol that includes shots against measles, polio, whooping cough, and tetanus, among other diseases. The CDC says vaccinations need to hit 90% in order to offer so-called herd protection, and it's currently over 94% in New Jersey grade schools, but that's down 1% from prior years. Parents of immune-compromised children who can't receive vaccinations depend on everyone else being vaccinated in order to protect their kids. It's tragic uh, that a child who, who would die or suffer a grievous illness uh, uh, to, uh, by a disease or at the behest of a disease which is preventable by vaccines. Assuming it passes the Senate, the bill would head to Governor Murphy's desk. In comments, he's indicated he's leaning in favor of it. If he does sign it, the law would take effect in 180 days. At the Statehouse, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.